Hi, this is uh, Courtney, also known as Dr. J to some, and I wanted to do a short video about dogs, if they can eat plain flour. I make my dog her own treats, and I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably make your dog uh, their own treats as well. But in my opinion, you may want to rethink using plain flour in their treats. Dogs can have plain flour. But they probably shouldn't because there is very limited nutritional value in plain flour. All of the um, the bran and germ has been removed, and that is actually where you get most of the nutrients and fiber uh, that may be healthier for your dog. So here are some alternatives if you were to decide to use, you know, if you need to use flour in your recipes. So whole wheat, brown rice, wheat, oat wheat, almond wheat, buckwheat. As long as your dog does not have any allergies to these things. So let's really quickly go over these um, flowers. So whole wheat flour, if you're looking for a similar texture to, you know, like cakes and cookies and things like that, whole wheat flour may be a better option because it is actually has a lot of fiber, but it is high in carbs. So that is one thing to think about. Most of the flowers that you're going to give your dog, they have their pros and cons. So you need to weigh them before you actually, you know, make your dog's treats with them. And if you're giving your dog's treat made with flour, you want to do so minimally anyway. You don't want to give them this every day as a meal. It's a treat. So let's talk about brown flour rice. Brown flour rice is a good choice um, if you need a gluten-free flour. So if your dog is gluten-free, then you probably... Um, should use brown flour, brown rice flour or something similar to that. Almond flour is just flour made from blanched whole almonds. It is also gluten-free. It's low carb, low salt, and it's actually what I choose to make my own dog's treats with a lot of times. It doesn't, however, have give you the same texture and feel as um, whole, like flour, like plain white flour. It's not going to give you the same consistency. Buckwheat flour is actually made from ground buck, buckwheat. It's it's low on the glycemic index scale, so it's low in sugar. It does have a good amount of fiber and protein, and it's also a good option for dogs that have may have diabetes because of the low sugar. Oat flour is another option, but usually it's used more as a thickening agent. So if you want your dog's tree to be light and fluffy, um, this probably would not be an ideal flour to use. So I do have this chart in one of my blog articles on the Pets Digest about um, different flours you can use for dog treats. So I wanted to include it here. It's not, like I said, ideal to feed your dog excessive flour in any way. So you should definitely give them this sparingly if you're making their treats at home. And also take my um, advice with a grain of salt, because although I'm a vet, I'm not your vet. And any information that I give you here is just um, based on research and, you know, scientific data, but it's not based on your individual dog. So I would definitely speak with your own vet first before you change anything in their diet, because that can upset their stomachs as well. If you want more information, you can check out my blog, thepetsdigest.com, and I would love to have you join me for the next video. Also, like and subscribe if you uh, would like to. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.